Tuesday, EES Group 2 Afternoon Badge present to you Zion Event Center and Bar Social Media Plan. Introduction. This presentation is centered on running a one month result oriented social media marketing campaign for Zion Event Center and Bar. <laughs> And the important questions, why and how? Why we want to embark on this campaign is basically to create awareness, generate leads, conversions, which will eventually result to an increase in sales for Zion event center and bar. Then how? We want to utilize the reach of the social media platforms to achieve these. They include Facebook and Instagram. Then, um, about Zion Event Center and Bar, it is an outdoor recreational center that's located at uh, Independence Lay out here in Enugu. They are known for their Friday live band events where top notch entertainers are invited to perform, thereby creating memorable audience experience. Okay, this is the present position of Zion Event Center and Bar. They are local, they are locally known within their environment, that is within independence layout. And they record average sales. That means they don't really make much sales. They record more of returning customers than new. So people who often go to Zion Event Center and Bar and who have gone there before, so they don't really make new customers. They, and they lack active social media presence. They are not always on the social media platforms. Okay. Um, okay. From our um, from our research. So, um, as the current. Um, Digital manager of this company, we had to do a, an extensive, um, you know, audit on their current status on WhatsApp and you know other social media platform, and you know we got to understand that you know they actually had a Facebook account, but um, we went deeper to find out yeah it has been dormant, and um, we you know with the time with the, pe the people that managed it before had low in engagement and you know low followership. You know, which is actually our goal, and um, we found the zero presence on Instagram, and you know, no, they were not found on Google Maps. They, they didn't have any business website, and of course, no WhatsApp business account. Okay. The direct competitors facing. Uh, Zion Event Center and Bar uh, Villa Toscana, Bush House Arena, New Berries Park, and Smile Lodge. These competitors, they are very well positioned on the social media platform. They have a stable customer base and um, they might make more profit than Zion Event Center and Bar. And as you can see on the chat, Villa Toscana approximately controls. 49% um, customer base, uh, Bush House Arena 23%, Newberry's Park 19%, then Smiles Lounge controls 9% customer base. Thank you. And the next is objective. Uh, you know, we stepped our objective down to steps so that it will help us to, to arrive at the picture we have we've planned. And our objective is to create awareness. Awareness will help us to reach to broad audience so that to to make us to to reach out to to many people at the end and also to generate leads and to 
And in doing that, it will boil down to conversion rate, which is the apex of everything we have planned. And also, we use messages to engage our target audience. And engagement is also there. And then, we also generate traffic. We, we have strategies to entice our audience to come to our website. And our goal is, is smart, is specific, and is also measurable. And in doing that, our goal is to ensure that our business receives at least 1,000 messages via Facebook and Instagram, and also to record at least 500 ticket sales on social media, which we know before now, our, our, our center don't used to have much much people to patronize them. But I believe with these goals and objectives, we will achieve that. Thank you. So, having said that, due to their, due to their customer relationships so far, and our target, our target audience is basically on three categories. We have demography. So on this we have age and we are targeting between 18 to 30 years and as well we have gender which include male and female. Also we narrow down to psychographic which include attitude and this is highly those that highly expressive and adventurous. Also after that, we have social class that is ranging from C1 to D. And the third, third one is the location, which includes Enugu, Imo, and Ebony State. The consumer profile talks um, about the individuals that are likely to take part in this event. We have for Alex, who is a male, he's 30 years old, a businessman, a dealer in electronics, an average phone user who spends most of his time on Facebook and WhatsApp. He is single, highly expressive, and willing to try fun and exciting trends. Can be found on Facebook and Instagram. His digital activities include searching, communication, shopping, and entertainment. We have Anne, who is a female. 28 years old, working class lady in Mikata with G2 Bank, a phone addict and spends most of her time on her mobile. Single and willing to try fun and exciting trends. Enjoys meeting new people and posts regularly on social media. Willing to be a part of a new social media trend can be found on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Telegram and LinkedIn. Our digital activities include searching, social networking, communication, shopping, and entertainment. And then we know that a whole lot of us, we put in a lot of time, a lot of energy, trying to make a living without really living that living that we want to live because we spend most of our time working. That's what brought about the big idea. And we are telling people, chop life. Wahala no the finish. So, by that, we want to convince people to always make out time out of their busy schedules to relax and have fun. Just like my colleague said, here the team for this campaign is high life for a low price. You are chopping your life, but at a low price. Then again, the activation idea. What is the idea for this campaign? What is the main reason for this campaign? Knowing that this, knowing that this event center have already been existing, yes. And this is the third edition for it. So this, we have already said it before, that is an outdoor event, which is aimed at what giving premium high life music entertainment by top artists to customers at a discount. So now looking at the concept behind it, the goal as I initially said, the goal here is to increase the sale. 
the main thing is sale, to get engagement, conversation that will bring about all selling more. And we're using the social media for it. Then at the last paragraph we are seeing there, you can tell that after that we are going to engage more for after sales, whereby people will be taking a photo booth. After that, you can tag your friends, and if you have more followers and more likes on your own page, you end up being the ambassador for your week. Thank you. calendar so the conversation calendar is like a schedule list that has about two to three of your plan posts per week for an entire month so for we broke our conversation calendar into four weeks because our campaign is for a month for the first week we'll be running one ad for a space of four days and then the next ad begins to run so for the first day of the month which is on sunday our content pillar is our awareness that's our objective is awareness for Facebook, we'll post selected pictures of the event center. That will also run on Instagram. For the second day of the post, that's the second day in the week, which is on Wednesday after four days, we'll also be doing awareness because we're trying to expose this idea to the audience. So we'll be showing a video of the bar services, the doings in the bar. Then for week two, the first day in week two, our first ad will be a blog. We'll be doing a snap thriller. Um, the budget, uh, what we see here on the slide is actually a function of um, Facebook targeting and um, all the intricacies that has to do with running ads on Facebook. Let me just briefly explain how we got these um, figures. So, given that we actually targeted um, people in Emo, Abia, Eboy, and um, Enugu, just uh, a few states, and then uh, there was also age range from 18 to 30. And um, in the course of running the ads, we chose automatic placements, which, is, uh, which entails that whatever you place on uh, Facebook as ads will also run on Instagram and other Facebook uh, partner apps. And so we, we used the daily budget of 2,300 which gave us a reach of about, um, say, 3,600 to 10,000 people to be reached. So from there, we made a, a viable assumption, a doable assumption that at least if you reach, say, from 3,500 people to 10,000, at least 300 people would send a message, at least. And then 100 people will get to like your page. So awareness there has to do it page like since they are trying to also ensure continuity after the event to make sure that they have a, they build a fan base for their event center and conversion has to do with sending a message to it, it um, indicate interest in uh, buying tickets for the show so um, rate cost is 250 for Facebook ads multiplied by 100 people who would um, like the page and then that gives you to 25,000 naira. Then for conversion, people who actually will buy the tickets, we we'll that at 300 people minimum times 250, giving some 5,000. 
same thing goes for Instagram. Excuse me. So um, we also try to integrate offline into our digital plan, and the, from the slide you can see design and delivery of photo booths. That basically involves um, design, you know, of a backdrop, a well elaborate backdrop that um, people who visit the event can actually take pictures, share with their friends and followers, as the case may be, and upload on their social media. By so doing, you're engaging the people who come to them, such events and then you're ensuring uh, continuity and then ensuring that every other person that's also following this book can get to see about that event. So we put that at uh, 150,000 for design and delivery of the photo booth, amounting to 150,000. Then the agency fee, uh, that's fee for design and uh, ad management, that's actually an error. 150,000, giving a total of 500,000 for the budget, which was what was the year back initially for the campaign. Thank you.